Lord, look at the traffic. And look at the clouds. Nah, that is Baba Ji. And look at the people. I hope the new mic setting is okay because you know the last vlog oh good good at least you looked at your rear view mirror and look at that talking about rear mirrors you have yours closed and using a mobile phone you mother dude give me a red light I'll sunawafy her so bad give me a red light just give me a red light so uh, anyway, let's just put the rage aside and talk about what I wanted to touch uh, a topic that is kind of most frequently asked. It's it's like a most uh, you know it's like an FAQ kind of FQA FAQ frequently uh, FAQ kind of a thing. The only thing that is asked is this: which bike should I buy? Which bike should I'm this? I'm I'm like five six. Should I go for this? I've heard a lot of things about this. You know, there's just one simple answer to that. Simple, straightforward. No one in the world can actually tell you which bike you should buy until and unless you don't test ride it out. I'm not sure if that was grammatically correct, but you need to test ride the vehicle that you're about to buy or purchase or anything because I mean just looking at the technical specifications just looking at the website forums will get you nowhere and frankly I mean obviously if in that case if you look at the technical if you look at the forums and everything you go for the RC 390 which people say that it's got a lot of heating problems this and that and this and that for example if you have a question that I want to buy an RC390 but the problem is that a lot of people are saying that it heats up in traffic in daily situations and kind of stuff like that. You basically go to a KTM showroom and test ride the bike at probably 5 or 6 in the evening when there is, when that is like the peak traffic hour time. Just do that, it's so simple. And you'll know each and every thing about the bike. Test riding a bike is is like 99% of the main thing that you should do before buying a bike. The rest 1% is like, you know, just finding the bike that is right for you, the, you know, the looks and everything. You have to search for that. That is like just 1% of the bike buying whole scenario. Oh, dude, can I, oh my God. Oh, I wish I wish I could stop her dude look at that man that is something spectacular <clears throat> welcome is coming back so anyway what I was telling is that uh, you know no one can actually tell you no one can tell you which bike to buy they can all just suggest to you that hey this bike has got this this bike has got that it's only about opinions it, it's all matter of it's all a matter of opinion that's it the real bike that you need to buy or you think that you should buy you'll know that when you test ride it out i mean select your option shortlist all the bikes and shortlist all the bikes go to it go to the, the showroom just ask for a test ride and simple as that buy the one that makes you feel that you want to ride it again and again and again that's it simple as that please do not ask i mean asking us makes no sense no point seriously that which bike you should buy because every person has different needs if you say that hey i want a bike that is uh, 150 cc and this and good powerful and good looking and if you're uh, in fact a naked bike kind of a guy and if i suggest to you the r15 Obviously that won't make a point, right? I'll be like, bullshit, what is he talking about? I don't even like this bike. What is the posture? I'm, I'm tired and all. That won't make any sense. The real thing is out there. The 
Also, the city traffic is horrible. Look at this. You'll take hours to reach home, birds. So anyway, short video, just wanted to make this a little point because this, these questions are like taking half of my life. And, I, and the thing that really bugs me is that I know it's not your fault because no one knows no one. But the thing that really bugs me is that I have to answer all of the questions repeatedly again and again and again and the same questions. And I always reply with one single answer. Dude, test ride the bike shortlist the bikes test ride each one of them and then buy the one that makes you feel that you want to ride it again that's it test drive test drive test drive that's the main deal that's it end of discussion anyway coming to the point number two the meetup it's not really a meetup i'm just headed for headed to Mursal, uh, probably me and Delhi Downshift and my brother, I'm not sure if Turbo Green will be coming, most likely no he won't be, you know, just, uh, just a morning ride, some breakfast and that's it, so if you guys are interested, surely you can join, all the details and everything will be in the video descriptions as, as mentioned earlier. This bike just won't give up. It won't give up. It's like power always available. Just rev me out, baby. Just rev me out. Anyway, so if you want to join me for the ride, yes, you're most welcome. I'll be heading to Murthal. All the details will be available in the description. They're going to redirect you to a Facebook page that is going to display all the details and everything. Map and everything, everything, everything. Yeah, so it's going to happen on Sunday. You want to call it a meetup? Meetup as it is whatever but i want to call it a ride because i just i'm just going for the ride that's it and you guys are actually you guys are free to leave whenever you want you guys are free to bring whoever you want it's like you know you guys are headed to mursal for a ride and you know just just you just take five minutes out of your time of out of your group time and come to meet me that's that's actually even that's even better because i don't want you to get bored and yeah anyway okay i think that's about it bye bye good night and enjoy the weather